Hey y'all, it is a crazy super windy day today here in Florida in my garden, but the butterfly gardening continues and I just found a few monarch eggs that I'm gonna go take some cuttings and take in. And hopefully they'll hatch and I'll have a few monarchs again. We're coming right over here in my wetland garden where I have my swamp milkweed And there are a few eggs here and there, so I am going to go find them and take cuttings, and maybe we'll get some babies. Oh, and tonight is the um, Florida Native Plant Society meeting. It's at Bonnet Springs Park and somebody's speaking, not me. I get to go and sit and listen. I love that, but I'm excited to, you know, see what they have to say and talk about, you know, love native plants. And even though it's been so crazy windy, there's still been a lot of butterflies out. And it's incredible to see one of those gusts come by and see the monarch butterflies just kind of glide right through it. They're aerodynamic skills are pretty phenomenal. So I want to show you right here in this garden section beside me it is the area where I feel like nothing much was happening. So I just took every old seed that I had and I planted it there. So it's going to be super fun to see what grows up there. You can see I cleared out a whole circle and then I spread the seeds and I put some peat moss down on top of it to help hold some water in for them. And uh, we'll see what happens. And then just a little bit further down the garden, I did the same thing in this, my first wetland garden I put in which still has some swamp milkweed in it and then all the grasses are over here. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them. And I put in a bunch of zinnia seeds and they are coming up like crazy. So I am super excited to see what they do here because I feel like I kept planting them and like nothing was happening and I finally decided that these packets of seeds were older seeds and I thought well maybe they're just not good but apparently they're good I also found a whole packet of um, salmon queen zinnias and so in here with my joe pie weed and the other weeds I sprinkled all the seeds in here and I put their little a little sign here so I would know that whatever zinnias come up in here are the salmon queen. My Joe Pie weed are very happy here in here. This is where my wafer ash is that I've gotten the eastern tiger swallowtail caterpillars from. That oh gosh, one of them finally I think it's either J hanging or it's about it or it just formed its chrysalis I'll have to go back in and show you there you can see it right there it's still J hanging so one of them gonna be a butterfly soon the other two are actually out you can see them there's one on the leaf right there and there's another one taking a stroll you know what else is in here? Remember I told you I found a sulfur butterfly that was right in front of my face. It was huge. It literally was in the enclosure for a day. And it pupated. And I'm starting, can you see the color through the side? The yellow and orange? It was solid green. So I bet we're going to see this guy probably tomorrow. So, yay. My first tiger swallowtail eastern tiger swallowtail i cannot wait and then this plant right here is the spice bush that i brought in that had um let me show you an egg 
These are the spice bush eggs. I think there's four of them in here. So hopefully those are the guys that turn green and then orange. And this is a spice bush plant. They also host on the sassafras tree. And there's one little giant swallowtail. Oh, he's not so little anymore, but he's all by himself. The other one, I don't know where it went. Sometimes they don't thrive. They were tiny. Um, but I have this one. So hopefully the uh, two eggs that I brought in, they're in the other enclosure. Hopefully they'll hatch and the scow has some friends. Look how shiny he is. He's beautiful. And y'all, I tell myself in my videos, I say, okay, this one you're staying in the garden. They love the garden, the flowers, the butterflies. You know, we can't go in the enclosures and look at caterpillars every time. But I can't even stand it because the baby polygamous are out. I just saw them and you know what? I got to show you, but we won't be long and we'll get back to the garden in the wind. There's two, three, four. They like to be together. I love that about them. And then there's one on the top side. And there's a couple more. Oh my gosh, I love these guys. I love them. I love them. I'm so happy to have them. And I love them as butterflies too. They're just beautiful. All right, quick peek at these babies. These are the ones that survived me going on vacation. Okay, y'all, we're back in the garden. Let's go look around, see what we can get into. Look at how happy my orange torch ginger is. This is its, I think it's its third year with me. It might be its fourth. I just absolutely love these and how tropical they are. They're not native, but they're in pots and they're beautiful. And they haven't spread anywhere at all because it's been four years and I only have the two in the pots. Here's the other one and this one's not blooming yet and I have to wonder if maybe it's not getting enough sun. But it also grew back later than the other one. So I'm going to give it a little more time. The leaves on these are so beautiful. And the texture, like there's a texture to them. I mean, look how gorgeous that is. And this is a longleaf ironweed. It gets filtered sunlight right here. And it is absolutely gorgeous. It has grown so much and it always has these clusters of purple flowers and pollinators love it. When we got it, we got it from the nectary and um, it was the last one because I want to get more. I've actually collected some seeds from it. And I've got some seedlings coming up, so hopefully they'll thrive. I've gotten to the point where I'm good at getting seeds started, but then the seedlings just kind of like, are like, okay, that's all we're doing now, we're done. <laughs> oh, and this longleaf ironweed is a Florida native plant. And y'all look at this maypot. It is covered in eggs. Look at this one here. I mean, somebody just went all crazy on on here. Look here's some here's another one. <laughs> That's fabulous. And look at the flower. You know, I learned something that I didn't know, and everybody in the world probably already knew but me because I feel like that's how things go. This is not a native meat pot passion vine. One way you can tell is that it's purple 
on purple. And the native passion vine, the uh, petals are more white. And you can clearly see a distinct purple color and a white color. Another way you can tell is that some of the leaves have five petals. One, two, three, four, five. And look, these are the petiole glands right here on the leaf stem. And notice the position of them compared to the uh, Passiflora incarnata, the petiole glands are up here at the very base of the leaf. But on the incense, they're further down mid-stem. I learned this from Catherine at the nectary. I was trying to grow her non-native me pop that I thought was native. But I will tell you something cool about this plant. So I reached out to Jane Weber. She's a professional gardener and a consultant. And um, she grows a lot of native plants, but she's also really into butterfly gardens. She actually says people can come visit her garden. I'm going to go, I'm gonna have to go do that. Anyway, she only grows this. This is called the Passiflora um, incense, the hybrid of the Passiflora incarnata, which is the native. And this one was specifically created for the zebra longwings um, because they live all year in Florida, yet the native maypop um, Passiflora incarnata dies back. So this was developed for the butterflies. So if you have incarnate, well, no, if you have maypop passion vine and you want it in your garden specifically for the butterflies, you might want to look into the incense variety. If you want maypop passion vine in your garden because you have a native garden, then you're going to want the Passiflora incarnata which will also support the butterflies, but it does die back and it does not regrow quickly, where this regrows super fast so it provides constant nutrition for the caterpillars. So this is a teeny tiny native Maypop Passion Vine Passiflora Incarnata. And you can see it has the three leaves, petals, and the petiole glands are right at the base of the leaf. Here's another leaf. You can see them. So that's how you can tell the native maypop from other varieties for the incarnata, Passiflora incarnata. Hey y'all, it's Thursday morning. And the sweet, beautiful sulfur butterfly has eclosed, and I'm getting ready to go release it in the garden. I love these guys. All right. And y'all, I was just out walking in my garden, and there are some beautiful butterflies and I'm going to see if they'll sit still a moment and I can show you who all is visiting today. You can see right here I have an eastern tiger swallowtail and an eastern black swallowtail. There's the tiger swallowtail and there's the black swallowtail. And then over here in my pentagarden, I have another eastern tiger swallowtail and a giant swallowtail. This is the giant. You can tell it because it has the brown on the back side of its wings where the eastern tiger swallowtail is yellow on the underside and the top side. And here's these two still hanging out together. 
this tiger swallowtail looks younger than the other one at the other end of the garden because its coloring is so much more intense. Look at that blue. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited to have my little caterpillars show up in the enclosure as one of these guys. Oh my goodness. And there's a little golf fritillary. <laughs> and there's a breeze. <laughs> Hang on, baby. And y'all, there is a monarch flying around, but um, it's on patrol. You know, it hasn't landed anywhere where I can get a good shot of it. It's flying here and there, trying to run everybody else off, you know, doing its monarch thing. This is the Eastern Tiger Swallowtail. It's a little bit older. Just a little bit. You can just see that it has been out in the sun. And so its color is not quite as bright, but it's still very bright. <laughs> 